Hello, my sweet crafty friends. So glad you could come by today. I've had a request to do another Hello Kitty card. So we're going to use Hello Kitty and two of my stamp sets to make another Halloween card. So come on back and we'll get started. Okay, from the Hello Kitty cartridge, we're going to use this cute little kitty on page 70. There she is right there. She's dressed up in her black cat suit. <laughs> she is so adorable. Here she is. And I have cut her out at three and a half inches. And I did the same method with the silhouette as before, except I kind of cheated a little bit this time, guys. I cut the background out of black on blackout. I cut the silhouette right there also out of black. And I cut her face and what's supposed to be the stick for her little lollipop out of white. I cut the top of the lollipop out of this really pretty kind of turquoise blue. But for her hair bow and what's supposed to be the orange part of her little paws. This is where I cheated. I couldn't help it. These pieces for her paws were so tiny and I couldn't get her bow to fit down in the silhouette just right. This is the first one I've had a problem on using the silhouette. So what I did, I took a piece of the orange and just cut a small piece and put behind the little holes that the Cricut cut for her paws and just glued that on there before I put the silhouette on and I did the same thing for her hair bow. Just put a piece of orange behind there and then put the silhouette on top. I also put a piece of white for the lollipop stick because it was so tiny I couldn't even get it to fit down in there and this looks much better because it fills up the whole spot. But that's just another little trick for using the silhouette. But I think she turned out so stinking cute. I just love Hello Kitty. And like I said, I cut her at three and a half inches. Now for our sentiment, we're going to use two of our of my Cards TV stamp sets. We're going to use one of the new ones, More Spooky Sayings. And right down here, this one's perfect for Hello Kitty. Too cute to spook. And for the inside, because we're going to do the inside today, we're using Happy Halloween. And I'll go ahead and show you the inside of the card. I've already adhered this down. You can see I've used the pumpkin. And you will find that pumpkin on page 71. There it is right there. And I cut the background out of black, the silhouette out of black, the inside for the pumpkin out of orange, that's under clothes, and then I cut the green for the top of the pumpkin. I didn't cut this layer right here because this shows in the book that it's red and I didn't think it needed that. But I cut my pumpkin at an inch and a half and I've already got this adhered down and I'll give you the dimensions for all the mats on the inside. But you can see I've stamped it with the Happy Day stamp, Happy Halloween. But the card is four and a quarter by five and a half. I'm going to add an orange mat, which is four by five and a quarter. And I'll grab my ATG gun and get this put on. Okay, I've got the orange mat adhered. The next two layers that I'm going to put together, I'm going to adhere these together, and then we're going to add a border, and I'm going to trim it off. So I'll go ahead and add the border to this before I put it on the orange mat. But I have a black mat, and this is three and seven eighths by five and an eighth, and then a plaid mat, which is three and three quarters by five. This cute little plaid paper came from that recollection stack that I told you the other day it had all the really cute coordinating papers in it, and I'll have the name of that stack at the end of the video, as well as all the cut sizes and all the other materials that I've used today. So we're going to get these two adhered together, and then we're going to add a border. I cut two pieces for the border. I cut 
one black and one orange and these are approximately an inch and I'm gonna put it down here I've already put some adhesive on the back just on the part that's going to stick down and I wanted to make sure it lined up evenly so that's why I went ahead and cut it a little bit longer but to cut these two borders which I've layered together I used my EK Success scallop scallop punch this is one of my favorites I use it a lot and I'm going to go ahead and get this layered at the bottom I'm just going to line up my sides and try to get that straight across there and now you can see it's pretty even on there and I'll just flip it over and trim the back and then we can put this on the front of our card that came out really well and I've already stamped it with the Too Cute to Spook stamp I thought that was perfect for Hello Kitty. Now I've opened out my card because it's bulky. I've already got the uh, inside done with the pumpkin and I did put the pumpkin on some foam tape so I've got it opened out because we're going to add Hello Kitty now and we're going to position her right about here and then of course we're going to add a few buttons. I think we'll put a couple of little black buttons right up here isn't she cute? I just love her. And if you don't have Hello Kitty, you can find another cute little image on Create a Critter or one of your other, maybe a Halloween cartridge. And then we're going to put three more of these little buttons down here. I get these little buttons at Joann's, but I think you can get them at Michael's too. And they're from Favorite Findings. And I love them because when you need just a little something, they're just the right size. And I'm going to get my glue dots, get this stuck down, take the foam tape off of Hello Kitty, stick her down, and then we'll come back and I'll show you the finished card and give you the dimensions on the inside as well. I think it turned out really Here's cute. Here's our finished Hello Kitty Halloween card. And I think she is definitely too cute to spook. Don't you guys? I think she turned out so cute. And I love her on this plaid paper. It looks really great for fall and Halloween. Now let me show you the inside and give you the dimensions. For the orange mat on the inside, this is three and three quarters by four and a half. Then we have a black mat and it is three by four and a quarter. Another plaid mat, this is two and three quarters by four. And then another black mat to frame out our sentiment mat. And this black mat is two and an eighth by three and five eighths. Then for our sentiment mat, this is just some ivory cardstock. And this is two by three and a half. And as I said before, the pumpkin was cut at an inch and a half. And it's on page 71 in your Hello Kitty manual. And I've stamped it with the happy day sentiment happy halloween and i liked putting it down here and then you have all this room to write whatever you want i think it turned out really cute i love hello kitty and as i said before if you don't have hello kitty you can find some really cute images in uh, simply charmed create a critter and if you've got any halloween cartridges you could use something from one of those there we go, guys. Thank you so very much for coming by today, and I'll be seeing you again really soon. Bye now.